Today on Preclist, I present you a modification of the newly released 75357. Have fun with the video. The ghost is now known for a long time. It was made known by the TV series Star Wars Rebels, where it was considered as a spaceship and home of the ghost crew. Furthermore, the ghost made a guest appearance in the Star Wars film Rogue One. In LEGO form, we got the ghost for the first time in 2015, where it came together with four minifigures consisting out of 900 parts for 100 US dollars. Now the wait is finally over, as to coincide with the release of the new Ashoka series on Disney+, Plus, LEGO has decided, after 8 long years, to re-release the popular ship together with the Phantom 2, which you had to buy separately with the previous one. As beautiful as the set is, it has to be said that it is not completely flawless. The first thing you notice is that the gun turret has been placed the wrong way around and the Phantom is a little bit too big in my opinion. Fortunately, a passionate fan by the name of Pixel Dan, who's absolutely no newcomer to the scene, has taken on the task of correcting these errors. He has scaled down the Phantom 2 so that it fits better to the Ghost but still offers space for minifigure. The underside was completely redesigned and he added significantly more detail on the top. The turret was reversed so that it points in the right direction, then the airlock system was accurately redesigned to fit the TV example. The interior was made new from ground up and he created a display stand and much more little nice details. The modification consists of about 760 parts and will cost you about 65 to 70 US dollars at Bricklink. The mock uses about 1000 of the 1400 original parts from the set and the new version consists of a total of 1760 parts. So now I don't want to keep you in suspense any longer and show you the ghost in its new form. First we start with the framework of the ghost. Here the mock designer follows the approximate specifications of the original. The underside however gets much more love than in the original LEGO version, which we will take a closer look at later on. When we are done with the underside, we turn to the interior. Here is built in addition to the beautifully smooth tiled floor, seating area, two doors and various details that provide life inside of the spaceship. Then we continue with the exterior cladding of the ship. Where really many tiles were used to give the ship a fresh and clean look. The external cladding consists of four similar plates that are very easily connected to the ghost. The turbines are attached with cross-shaped axles and then decorated with these sausages attached to triad arms. Finally, we built the cockpit and the roof and the small miniature phantom along with the stand. At the end there are about 400 parts left which you can use for your own mocks as you like. Now let's take a look at the new details in detail, starting with the underside. Here he has definitely changed a lot. In the original set this really looked a little loveless and consisted only of a grey exoskeleton. The mock designer has now covered this completely with white parts so that it not only looks good from the top side. Let's continue with the interior. Here he created from a rather modest interior an almost UCS worthy room which reminds me of the bigger display models from LEGO Marvel. It is equipped among other things with a sitting area that can accommodate for minifigures, a holo chessboard 
and a small stool, as well as two doors on each side, one that can be fully opened. In addition, the cockpit has been improved and has in addition to the new control screen also a chair. The cockpit itself can also be removed and has been completely redesigned by the designer to look more screen accurate. Next I want to show you the exterior cladding. This was in the original set still very distinctive with Lego studs on top and is now fortunately offset with tiles and many small details. The airlock was also redesigned from scratch and now looks much more uniform and is no longer as colorful as in the original. I particularly like the gun turret as it now points accurately in the right direction to the rear. The airlock can then be easily attached to the top of the ghost and no longer moves from place. The color of the jet engine was changed from blue to orange, but that is a matter of taste. I personally like both of the colors for the jet engines very well. And then we have a big change, in this case rather a small one, and that is the Phantom 2 which has been reduced in size to better fit the scale of the ship. It still offers space for a small minifigure and can be attached to the rear of the Ghost very well. To make the whole thing even better, Pixel Dan even designed a display stand that was built from Technic parts with a pretty simple construction technique. You can just attach it to the bottom of the ghost with these studs. Let's be honest guys, doesn't this just look great? It's such a nice display model and the display stand is so simply built but just looks super clean. I think it's really impressive what Pixel Dan has come up with, especially since the set was released so recently. I would not be surprised if Pixel Dan is secretly a Lego master builder or works for Lego himself. I'm really happy to have the set in my collection. Your lightsabers will make a fine addition to my collection. As a small conclusion, I have to say that these halfway small modifications have a huge impact on the overall look of the set and enhance it quite significantly. I think it already looks like a small UCS set and could easily pass as one. Feel free to post in the comments what you think of the mock and be sure to check out Pixel Dan who has many more cool mocks to offer. If you liked the video and want to see more of it, please support me with a like and also leave a subscription. I can use any support and it was as always an honor for me. That was it today on Prickle. See you next time. Ciao.